Hello once again, and welcome back to Hoosier History, Legends, and Heroes. In this video, we will be going back to Indiana's covered bridges. I was going to talk about the covered bridge in Bartholomew County. When I started researching it, I found out that it had an interesting history. This covered bridge is another one who started life in a different county. The Brownsville Covered Bridge was built in Union County in 1840. These pictures of the bridge were taken in the 1940s while it was still standing in Union County. In 1974, the bridge would be put up for auction because Union County officials felt the structure was inadequate for modern day traffic. The city of Indianapolis paid $1,350 for what was considered the oldest covered bridge in Indiana that was still standing in its original location. With all of the interest placed on the bridge because of the selling of it, Cecil Charles of Richmond, Indiana wrote an article about the bridge for the Richmond, Indiana Palladium newspaper. It looks like the builder, Adam Mason, may have never received the full payment that was owed to him. The state originally approved a budget of $1,200 for the building of the bridge in 1837. By early 1839, enough progress was made to show that the original agreed upon amount was not enough for Adam Mason, and he asked for an additional $400, which was readily approved. By this time, the state was in a different financial situation than it was in 1837. Believing that the money situation would turn around, Mason finished the bridge using his own money. He turned the finished bridge over to Union County in January of 1840. Mason would sue in 1850. The court agreed that he was owed the $400 plus $96 of interest but the state was broke, so no one was legally made to pay Mason the money owed him. Clarence Gurch, Indianapolis Deputy Parks Director, said that the bridge would be relocated across Eagle Creek on the city's northwest side. This would never happen. Indianapolis ended up putting the bridge into storage. As per the officials, they could not find a proper site or the money to rebuild the bridge. Bartholomew County's Clifty Creek Covered Bridge was the last county covered bridge and it was destroyed by fire in November of 1985. Columbus paid Indianapolis the amount that they had purchased the bridge for in 1974, $1,350. The bridge had been in storage for 12 years and was originally 166 feet long, but it had been shortened to 100 feet and stands 20 to 25 feet tall, which was the same height as the Clifty Creek Covered Bridge. A $38,000 Lilly Endowment Grant paid for the transportation cost to move the bridge to Mill Race Park in Columbus. There was a dedication for the Brownsville Mill Race Park Covered Bridge in June of 1986. Mill Race Park in Columbus has the Custer Nugent Amphitheater and the Mill Race Tower. It also has fishing, a boat ramp, trails, and was voted one of the top 100 parks in the nation. The design of the park was by landscape designer Michael Van Valkenburg. The bridge is located at the edge of the Mill Race Pond. You will find at the bridge a plaque dedicated to builder Virgil Taylor. He was a builder, but people also knew him for the love he had for the Mill Race Park. He was a founding member of what was called the River Rats. He brought together scores of builders and volunteers to create a park for the enjoyment of future generations. One of his dreams was to have a covered bridge at the park. He was involved in moving one of the last covered bridges in the county. Sadly, this bridge was destroyed by fire. Virgil then led an effort to purchase and bring the Brownsville Covered Bridge to Columbus. 
This is the Brownsville Mill Race Park covered bridge in its home since June of 1986. This is a bridge that you can drive through and the clearance is 13 and a half feet. There were repairs made in 1991. It covers a branch of the Driftwood River in Mill Race Park. This is also a stop on the Indiana Covered Bridge Loop. This shows that the bridge covers a branch of water off of the pond. And you can actually walk under this bridge easily. You can see where there is a cement walk that you can take that takes you under the bridge. This style of covered bridge is the long truss style of bridge. This design was patented by Major Stephen Long, who was a U.S. Army engineer. It is believed that this is the only long truss style of covered bridge still standing in the U.S. Thanks for watching this video about the Brownsville Mill Race Park covered bridge. I hope you enjoyed the story of this bridge and its journey starting in Union County and now standing in Columbus, Indiana. Show your support for this channel by subscribing. Also like, share, and click on the notification bell so that you will be notified when the next Hoosier History, Legends, and Heroes video is uploaded. Until next time,